Question number 71 says find an expression for dy by dx. So first we have to find dy by dt. So dy by dt, derivative of sine t is cos t. Then we have to find the derivative of dx by dt. For this sum we have to review this again. We have to do d by dx of a power ax plus b to the power n that means the power first then we write this with power less than 1 into the chain rule d by dx of algebra so by that if you have d by dx of tan square theta let me consider the angle to be theta so we write the power first then we write this thing by reducing the power by 1 and then we write d by dx of whatever is inside the power which is tan theta so that's how this works so we write 2 first then we write we write 2 first then we write tan t and then we write d by dt of whatever is inside the power which is tan t so we can write 2 tan t derivative of tan t is sec squared t and the chain rule of this angle is 1 so I'm not writing it so this would be 2 tan t sec squared t so therefore dy by dx is dy by dt which is cos t divided by 2 tan t sec squared t now this can be further simplified dy by dx course they didn't tell us to simplify our answer they said you need not simplify your answer but anyway if you simplify if you bring the sec squared t upstairs because of the identity 1 by cos theta is sec theta so 1 by sec theta is cos theta so if we do that we can write cos t and if you bring sec squared t upstairs this would become cos squared t divided by 2 tan t so we can write cos cubed t divided by 2 tan t in question number b find an equation of the tangent to the curve at the point t equals to pi by 4 and we have to express your answer in the form y equals to x plus b so let's find the gradient first at t equals to pi by 4 we have dy by dx so cos cubed t means cos pi by 4 whole cubed divided by 2 tan pi by 4 so now cos pi by 4 means square root of 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 whole cubed 2 and cos uh, tan pi by 4 tan 45 degrees 1 so we can write so 1 by root 2 whole cube means if we simplify that so we can write 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 so that's what it means divided by 2 so 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 is half into 1 by root 2 divided by 2 so this would be 1 by 4 2 and 2 is 4 into 1 by root 2 so the gradient we have to find the gradient of the tangent that means gradient of the tangent and gradient of the curve is same so we write gradient of tangent is 1 by 4 square 2 now we need the point so at t equals to pi by 4 the x coordinate is tan square t so that means tan pi by 4 whole squared so tan pi by 4 pi by 4 means 45 degrees so tan 45 degrees 1 1 squared is 1 so and y equals to so we have to take a look at y is sine t so sine pi by 4 means sine 45 degrees 1 by square root of 2 so equation of tangent so the point is 
1 comma 1 by square root of 2 so the equation is y minus y1 equals to m the gradient is 1 by 4 square root of 2 x minus x1 now we have to express the answer in the format of y equals to x plus b so we can just write it y minus 1 by square root of 2 equals to 1 by 4 square root of 2 x minus 1 by 4 square root of 2 I'm multiplying 1 by 4 square root of 2 if I can write y equals to 1 by 4 square root of 2 x minus 1 by 4 square root of 2 plus 1 by square root of 2 now this sum is actually these calculations are nothing but simple algebra they look a bit difficult but they're simple algebra now if I take 1 by square root of 2 common from this it becomes like this if I take this would be 1 by minus 1 by 4 and this would be 1 if I take minus uh, this if I take 1 by square root of 2 common so by calculation 1 by 4 square root of 2x so this would be 1 minus 1 by 4 is going to be 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 into 1 by root 2 the final question is Cartesian find the Cartesian equation of the curve so the curve is x equals to tan square let me write it down here so x equals to tan square t so we have this and y equals to sine t so we have to convert this into Cartesian format and it has to be y square equals to fx in order to do this we need some sort of an equation that will connect the two now from C3 you remember we have tan squared theta plus 1 equals to sec squared theta so we have this connection and there's another connection tan theta is cos theta by sine theta so I think it's better if we use this this rule so if we use this we can write we know tan squared t plus 1 equals to sec squared t so let me plug it in in tan squared t I can just write x because tan squared t is x so x plus 1 equals to sec squared t now we have sine t sec squared t is 1 by cos squared t so we can write x plus 1 equals to 1 by sec squared t is the reciprocal of cos so 1 by cos squared t and cos squared t is 1 minus sin squared t another identity we are using here so we can write x plus 1 equals to 1 by 1 minus now sine squared t so we know sine t is y so sine squared t is y square so that's what we got now we have to rearrange it and write y square equals to what so let's rearrange this so if I put this here and this here I can write 1 minus y squared equals to 1 by x plus 1 so therefore 1 minus 1 by x plus 1 this whole thing equals to y squared so therefore y squared equals to 1 minus 1 by x plus 1 that's the Cartesian equation